in here with the EcoFlow River 3 Plus. The River 3 Plus is the latest in the River series. Now this thing has 286 watt hour of energy stored and you can also add external stackable batteries. It has three AC outlets with 600 watt continuous and 1200 watt surge. The most out. interesting thing about this new River 3 Plus is that it has a USB-B port on the back and that's for computer UPS functionality. Now you could always use an EcoFlow power station as a computer UPS, but the one problem is when the battery level gets low, it's not gonna trigger the PC to shut down in a safe manner. Now that's okay if you have a laptop or you have a conventional UPS connected, but otherwise, eventually it's gonna crash your computer. So EcoFlow is now marking this as the first computer UPS, and they have the new Power Manager software that you can use along with your PC. Now when you connect your PC to the USB-B port on the back, it doesn't detect the River 3 Plus as a standard UPS. It's got some pretty good settings, but one thing it's missing is it doesn't automatically start when the computer reboots. The Power Manager software, you can monitor a battery level and runtime. You can also set when you want the PC to shut down. And look at other statistics on the River 3 Plus. Okay, so I set the Power Manager software to shut down the PC at 5%. You can see that was just triggered here. And it gives you a countdown on the PC as to when it's going to shut down and allows you to abort. So there it goes. It just triggered the PC to shut down gracefully. You can also set a low battery reminder in the app so it will push a notification to you when the power has been cut and the battery is low. And the app is great. It has Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and cloud connectivity. And it runs super quiet whether the inverter is on, it's charging, or it's just working in UPS mode. It's totally suitable for an office. It's nearly undetectable. There's even a slow charge setting to make it even quieter. In comparison, the River 2 that I have makes a lot of noise from the fan while it's running and I wouldn't use it in an office. Now they also have a driver for Synology network attached storage units. Now they don't have one that supports all models. Mine's not supported, so don't expect that it's gonna work and detect it as a standard UPS. Now I also was able to get this working in Home Assistant so I can see all the stats on it, which is awesome. I have another video showing you how to do that. And the firmware was great on this. I got an update when I first set it up and it has all the nice features like keep outlets on. If the power's cut and it goes down to zero and then the power comes back on, it'll automatically restart. And it has this cool light on the front, which also works as a power out indicator. And USB-A and USB-C ports on the front. And with the Home Assistant integration, you could create automations that would shut down your servers and PCs when it detects the battery's low and the AC power's been cut. But for me, I think I'm gonna use this along with my conventional UPS to give me like crazy runtime. So this little micro PC here, B-Link, was running for over 10 hours when I cut the power to do a test. Now a desktop that's idling at like 200 watts would probably last about an hour with the EcoFlow River 3 Plus, which is still a lot better than the maybe seven to 10 minutes you get with a lead acid UPS. There you go, there's my take on the EcoFlow River 3 Plus. Remember to like and subscribe for more videos about Wi-Fi and tech products. <music>